Benedict Cumberbatch seems really excited to be working with Sam Raimi, to be getting back to actually being a part of Doctor Strange universe and not just being a cameo in other films. But hey, he's very excited for the sequel, he's excited for Sam Raimi's directing, and he's excited for the future. I mean, we know Doctor Strange is going to be a pretty big, important piece of the uh, MCU puzzle going forward. He still's got to complete his trilogy. He's got to mentor a couple characters. He's got to be in the Avengers. So he's got a uh, bright future ahead of him. And the next step is dumping him into the multiverse with uh, all sorts of things and explosions and all sorts of action all over the place. I'm only assuming that part, but it's a comic book movie with Doctor Strange in the multiverse. So there's a high probability that a blue laser in the sky will somehow factor into something. Either way, though, in a recent interview with the Associate Press, Doctor Strange himself, Benedict Cumberbatch, started to hype up Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, talking about how great it's going to be and what a delight it is to work with Sam Raimi, who has such a unique vision and approach to comic book movies that not many other people do. And he talks about the uh, collaboration with the other projects, meaning, you know, what's happening with Spider-Man, what was happening with WandaVision, and the future down the road, and having a blast and a really good time and one of his favorite experiences working on the film, despite everything that's happening on the planet, and of course, even the shutdown they went through and all that. Now, I do appreciate that he goes back to what Sam Raimi's known for, and that's a, a different style. And I think that's one of the things that made Spider-Man stand out so much when it came to differentiating his Spider-Man and his comic book movies from everybody in the 2000s. Here's your dark, like, black suits, leather, and he's like, well, how about we just do Spider-Man, huh? A Spider-Man suit? Yeah, that'll actually sell. So it did, right? Um, so he has a different approach, and anytime you watch anything Sam Raimi, he has the, uh, well, it, I call it the Sam Raimi effect. Like, you know it's a Sam Raimi film and a scene because the way it's directed. He just has this style. Sort of the way you know a Zack Snyder product when you see a Zack Snyder product. I mean, it, it's, you know, that director all over the scene. And him specifically saying that he's excited to work with Sam Raimi more and explore this character makes me believe that they're probably already talking about a sequel, if not already have him locked in and they just haven't announced it till it's time. Maybe do a Wonder Woman style where you drop the new film and then you just announce to get even more hype behind it, which would make sense. And from everything they keep saying and all the leaks, it looks like this film is going pretty big. So I'm definitely hyped to see what it's going to look like when we first get our glimpse at it, which will undoubtedly be leaked Legos or action figures. 